What's up everybody? My name is Jeremy Jones. I'm back with another video. Today we're talking the Nike Dunk Dawn Becker Freestyle Zoe. So stay tuned. Brother is engaged, but I started new life. Yeah, I haven't had a chill day. Really wanna vibe, appreciate the moments. I've been creating, not scrolling. Mom and dad still support it. All right, man, I'm back with another video, man. Before I get too deep into this video, y'all already know what to do. Go and hit that like button. It really helps the channel out. And if you're new, consider subscribing. I make content about sneakers. All right, so let's dive in today's video. We're talking the Nike Dunk Dornbrecker Freestyle Zone. All right, man, we're gonna be keeping things very simple over today. We're gonna be answering the basic old question. Are they drip, flip, or skip? Let's just keep it there. All right, so let's say some obvious about this sneaker, right? First things first, these are set to release April 30th, to the best of my knowledge, coming in at a retail price of $100, right, okay? Now, of course, you know the kid glanced at the resale price, and right now, look like they're averaging about $390 and up, depending on the size, right, okay? Now, if you know anything about the Dornbeckers, you know the inspiration behind these and just the stories of where the creativity comes behind these. Now, this one, I didn't really wanna mess up because I knew it was very, very serious when it comes to the Dornbecker product. Projects. So I'm just gonna read off basically what this came from and the person that is based off of so the person name is Zoe Taffy Which I hope I'm saying that correctly and I'll do my very best to have an image of her up on the screen Hopefully I got that right as well. Okay, so literally it says Three years ago, she was diagnosed with an autoimmune disease that is so rare that only one in a million pediatric patients have it so she's obviously a very very special person that you know you have got to just be amazed at how she is. Like I'm going off the images, she looks like an amazing person and she's what she has and she has a bright smile. So, you know, obviously you're making the best out of your situation and whatever you're going through, which seems like she's doing okay. But again, I would have to do more research on that disease and I don't really want to go into a death battle. We just gonna keep it about the sneakers. Now, like I said, a lot of things going on with this. One of the things that's really standing out about this one, and I wanted to just have this image right in front of me as you guys get to see it as well. I love how it says on the Nike check, it says one in a million. Not only that, it gives me off-white vibes off the rip, right, okay? Because it looks like the, the Nike check is actually off it a little bit, right? No pun intended. Which, I don't mean like off as in like off angle, but I mean like it's popping off of the shoe. We got yellow and green hints here, and then we got, looks like zebra vibes about this. So it's got a mixture of everything, and I love the combination that they did with this sneaker. Anytime you see a Dornbrecker sneaker in general, honestly, it's usually hit or miss. It's usually super, super good, or it's like, yeah, that one's a little too left field for me. But again, at the end of the day, all sneakers are preference at the end of the day. However, when it comes to these, um, Dornbrecker Zo Dunks, I'm gonna say this. Not a bad sneaker, and the price is up there already on the resale market. For me, personally, I'm gonna say it's going to be a skip for the kid, but honestly, this could arguably go in any category depending on, you know, what you're into. You can obviously probably put this in the flip category, you know, retail averaging $100, but then you got the resale market averaging about $390. You know, that's a nice profit to be made. So you can easily put this in the flip category. And of course, with everything that's going on with this and a lot, I am a sucker for yellow. So you can easily throw this in the drip category. And the only reason I'm putting this in the skip category is just something I know that I would not wear on a regular basis. And I just wouldn't want it to sit around collecting dust, you know, not that I wouldn't wear it, but I would just have to create a whole fit for it. It's one of those, like I would have to wear you know that same fit multiple times and wear the shoe just to get more wearage out of the shoe because you know I like to wear my sneakers. But overall, it's going to be a skip for the kid. Not a bad shoe, just not for the kid. But I want to know what you guys think down in the comment section. And will you be going after these on April 30th, retailing at $100? And of course, let me know if you think they're drip, flip, or skip. All right, man, I'm gonna go ahead and get up out of this thing and stop rambling, man. Be sure to hit that like button. It really helps the channel out. And if you're new, consider subscribing. I make content about sneakers. Again, my name is Jeremy Jones, and thank you for watching, and I'm out.